Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface, which is dedicated to freeform modeling. We'll continue learning how to use our tools in a more advanced way. So I just select all the faces, press delete on the keyboard and it will delete all the surfaces and everything. Or if I press undo, I can just select delete all. I will now make sure that I turn off the symmetry as I don't need it. So it asks me if you want to keep the mirror points, there are no points, I'll just press no. So one of the most powerful tool of quick surface free modeling is the snap mode. We can just turn this on. When this is on, there is no way for you to use the manipulator. And in this example, I will just start modeling half of it and then we can mirror it and get the final result. Again, I'll just get an up face selecting this mode. Can just throw my first rectangle here. Now, the first thing we notice is that actually all my points they belong to the surface now, they are not floating in space. So now I can use the same approach as we showed before using the D handle and I can just drag it and drop it. So this is the difference that now all the points they are always snapped to the mesh. So this is actually my first shape here and you see it's easy to use that you can just drag this and move it and drop it. So I double click to select the whole chain and I just move here and drop it. I take these points and now I can start painting around my object and start reconstructing what I want. I double click or I can use the Alt key, lift the mouth button, lift it and I see that I'm going around the object easily. At any point you can just press the space bar and you can see the surface on. You can press the space bar again and you enter in this edit mode. Of course you can turn on the zebra rendering so you can see the quality of your shape, how smooth it is. Or you can turn the deviation analyzer and you can see in real time how far you are from the object. So this is what we get at the moment. Let's continue a bit further. Now. I can just duplicate this edge only. As you see, the software automatically inserts an irregular point. If you leave the object as it is now, if we press the zebra rendering, the software will actually not be able to create continuity here. And at the end, you will get a crease effect here. So that's why this will help us. By clicking on this one, it will actually move this irregular point inside the surface and then there will be no issues with this and the, the continuity will be as expected. But this is not what I want at the moment. I will just want to continue and build my surface here. I will just move this edge and place it here. I will roughly create what I want to do. One option which can be used in quick surface is just to select this edge and holding shift will select the other edge and you can right click more tools and you can bridge edges this will actually create a phase between them and will close the gap the other option to do this is just if I just take this one sorry this is where the two were selected I'll just unselect by clicking somewhere on the screen I'll duplicate this one and if I move it, it will highlight where I want to merge this edge. So this is the merging of the two edges, which is similar to what we saw as a bridge edge. So in such a way, we just create our surface in a fast and efficient way. And as you see how our warning dialog disappeared because this is still a regular point, but it's inside. And this is acceptable for, for the software. I'll just put this on top view. And now I can probably do the easiest way just by enabling the 
a symmetry, I will double click here and say set on the symmetry plane. I can take a look now by pressing the spacebar how this looks like. So at the moment we don't know how good we are with the surface. Is it enough or not? How can we see? That's why we can use the transparency mode here of the mesh and you can see how far we are. But the simplest way is you just turn on our deviation analyzer, put an option here a bit lower because we need to work much closer and as you see everything is red. One option is to split actually this. How can we do this? You just click on the edge, right click, and then you choose the command split. It automatically splits the the whole all the faces to this one and insert an edge. Then it automatically projects everything back on the surface. Another option which you can do is just uh, you just select this one, press S key. During the modeling, software always tries to keep the points on the surface, but if you combine this, for example, you switch this off and you move, now it is floats in space. It's not on the it, it's not at all on the mesh, you can turn this on. And at any point you can just right click and you can say it tell the software to snap all the points on the mesh. In such a way I can just split here, I can just take this one and split and I can improve my resolution quickly just by using a hit of a button. So then you can see the color plot of the shape. I can take this, we'll snap all, all to the mesh, so I can get them perfectly aligned. You can also try to move the points over the, the mesh so you can improve or if you double click and you can move the whole the whole edge chain or you can just handle take a, one single edge and move it and all of them they will actually be projected again this is not working now again as you see they don't really move because our option don't move neighbors is enabled so in some cases when you do the freeform modeling you can just move your points and they will get closer to the mesh. So this is our surface which is right now. I can move these points and they get projected. And this is our surface which get closer. We'll snap out to the mesh to make sure that everything is it's not projected there was a hole here so now it's okay and you can get our surface nearly ready so we'll just take a look at our shape and one other option which is really useful is uh, the smooth command you can just double click on an edge it will select the whole edge chain and you can go and in more tools you can choose the smooth command. It actually takes all them and smooth or you can just press the Q key. One command which is not available in a context menu is what we call the brush tool. Holding control and shift will enable the brush smooth. This is a command which while you hold the shift and control you can use the mouse wheel as you see it changes the shape so then when you hold the left mouse button it actually starts smoothing the points around while still keep them projected on the surface in this case this is not good enough for me so i can start playing with this and in such a way we can just smooth our results here i can move my edge to get a transition in a better way i can turn on my zebra rendering to see my smoothness or i can turn the deviation analyzer to see my 
results. In any case, in any situation, you may need to generally to increase the number of uh, faces everywhere. So this is an easy command which is can be accessed by right-clicking the more tools and you know, just say increase resolution. When we press increase resolution, it will take every quote and we'll split it actually in four smaller quotes. As you see now, the mesh is uh, improved and it gets closer to the surface, but this means more control points, the surface gets closer to what the scan is, it gets a better accuracy, but uh, also you get start getting more noise from the surface. So it's really up to the user and to find the design intent how close you want to be. You can press the space bar so you can see your color plot or you can start manipulating your surface so you can get closer to what you want to do. I can always just snap out the mesh to get better results. So in this way you can get closer and get uh, much more accurate results but also as you see it starts getting some more noise. I will just undo this uh, resolution, we will leave it a little bit less for the purposes of uh, demonstration. When you when we look at the screen, there are some lines which are drawn in dark grey and the other ones in white. The white ones are actually the patch boundaries. This means that if we export this in IGES file format, the surface ex exported will be, consist only of one, two, three, in the top one, four surfaces. So in fact, we'll have much less um, surfaces exported, and which means that they will be easier to be manipulated in the other software for the purposes of Boolean operations, etc. This is also important because some of the other software, they do this quote modeling, but they export and create NERV for every single patch. One more extra command that I want to show you is that if you want you can turn off the symmetry and then you get a question if you want to keep the mirror points or not. If you say no, all the points which are mirrored will disappear, but if you say yes, they will become as a normal points, but there will be no more relations between this point and its mirrored point, so they will be treated individually. This is useful in some cases if you want to adjust them independently. I'll put this in top mode and let's take a look a bit more. I'll just double click, we'll, we'll select my chain here, add chain. And in some cases I may want to align them horizontally. That's why we have this command align horizontally or vertically. This command is also available on the um, toolbar menu. So if I choose horizontally now, and click somewhere on the mesh or on a specific point or here or here it doesn't really matter it just takes this line and projects all the points and creates this straight line as you see because the snap mode is on it automatically will project them back on the surface this is really useful in some cases when you want to do nice and good looking finishes of, of them in this example, if we take a look, I have created this extruded surface so I can trim and create a better result. So let's take a look. We go to edit quote surface. We'll hide this temporary. What I want to do is actually now extend this a little bit more so I can I'll put it in offset mode. So I can extend it so I, then I can trim it properly. Of course, in this case, we need to turn off the snap mode and we need to use with the manipulator in order to do this. I'll just put this into world mode so I can adjust this fine. And I can put it in side views. I can double click and I can hold Alt key and we'll extend.
we can do the same with the other edge or I can just take it and move it out it really depends on the design intent you can just align like this one and this one moves here and be careful that if I place in this view be careful that when you move a mouse if it highlights it actually will snap the mode to this point regardless of whether the snap mode is on or off so if I leave this here you see that we get a worse result one other option of the extension link put it in this view is when we duplicate we want it will just duplicate in the, this direction but if I hold Control and Alt key, the duplication will be actually extending the surface, which means that the new point will go in this direction, the other one in this direction, in this direction, and this this point will be duplicated and moves in this direction. So hold Control and Alt key and start duplicating. You see that all the points they actually duplicated in the tangential direction. I'll just press Ctrl Z now and without Ctrl key, if I do this, you can just move it the way you want. But with Ctrl and Alt, even if you try to move, it just extends into the direction of the tangent. This is also a useful, really useful uh, tool which you can use to extend uh, your surface. These were the basics of the freeform modeling. If you have any questions, just contact us for extended training. Thank you for watching.